Okay, so what do we have here? Well, obviously we have a triangle, and it looks like we know the length of this side and the length of this side, but we don't know the length of this side, and that happens to be the question. We want to find the length of this side of the triangle. So if you think you could do this problem, I'm going to put your answer into the comment section, and better yet, tell me the formula okay, that you used. And I'm going to call it a formula. It's actually called something else, but I think for those of you that know how to solve this problem, you uh, you kind of you know are picking up on what I'm saying. So what did you use? What formula? What what did you use in order to solve this problem? Now. Technically, there's a couple of different ways you could approach this problem, but there's like one obvious thing, uh, one obvious formula that immediately should come to mind if you know what to do. Of course, I'm going to tell you all about this formula and exactly how to solve this, but uh, I'm actually going to show you the solution to this in just one second, and then we're going to go through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. Maybe you failed a couple of math courses in the past. Maybe you hate math. Maybe you're like, I'll never learn this stuff. Listen, you can learn this stuff, but what you need is great math instruction, clear understandable and comprehensive. So if you need math help in your current math course, or maybe you're studying for some sort of special test right now, something like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, anything with a math section on it, or maybe you're homeschooling math, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that cover uh, all these categories and much, much more. Also, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. What is the answer? Well, the missing side, this side right here is six. Okay, so that is the answer. And what was the formula that I was talking about? Well, it's the Pythagorean theorem, okay? The Pythagorean theorem, we're gonna talk about that here in a second, but basically that's A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So if this is what you were thinking about and you got this answer, well, listen, you definitely deserve a nice little happy face, an A plus plus, a 100% and a few stars so you can have an extra special day. Great job, okay? So anyways, when it comes to uh, mathematics, and I'm talking about, um, uh, let's say, middle school level and beyond, all right, you're definitely going to want to know this formula. Matter of fact, a lot of you out there aren't even math students. Maybe just checking out this video just caught your eye. A lot of uh, people in all sorts of different jobs use the Pythagorean theorem all the time. They don't even realize they're using it. Things like uh, construction workers and stuff like that, anybody dealing with right angles okay are using this formula all day long and that what's really key here is that this is a triangle but it's not just a regular triangle this happens to be a special type of triangle it's what we call a right triangle we can see that by this little box in a corner anytime you see a triangle and has a little like square little box in that corner like that that indicates that this is a right triangle meaning that this angle is 90 degrees. So anytime you have a triangle, a right triangle specifically, you can use this formula. Now I said there was a couple different approaches to this problem. Well, you could use trigonometry to solve this problem, but that's kind of like, you know, uh, kind of going the long and fancy path in order to solve this. The easiest, most direct path to uh, solve um, a right triangle problem when it comes to the uh, lengths of the sides is using the Pythagorean theorem. And let's go ahead and take a good look at that now. Okay, so again, here is our problem. We recognize, oh, this is a right triangle. I'm trying to find a side, a missing side in a right triangle. Automatically, you should be thinking Pythagorean theorem. And that is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. But what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that now. Okay, so in a triangle, there's three sides, all right? A, B and C. What you really need to be paying attention to is C. What side is C? That's what really counts, okay? C is the longest side. It's called the hypotenuse, all right? So if you look at this triangle, what's the longest side? It's this side. And if you don't really, uh, if you can't really see that, it's always the side opposite of the right angle, okay? So the side opposite, but you, you kind of uh, hopefully should be obvious, you know, visually to the eye 
this is the longest side. So that's always your C. Your A and B can, is the other sides of the right triangle. So this, the shortest side and this middle side is the A and B. It doesn't make a difference if you put this as B and this as A, but it does make a huge difference if you don't have uh, the longest side as C. So uh, once you um, understand that, then basically the Pythagorean theorem uh, has this you know, obvious relationship, and that is this. If we square this side, okay, this middle side, right here, A squared, and then we add it to the square of this, let's say the shorter uh, side right there, that's going to be equal to the sum of these things. If I add these up, it's going to be equal to the square of this longest side, the square of the hypotenuse, right? So if we have a right triangle and we know the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the length of any of these sides. Of course, you're going to have to know some basic algebra, but that's not that difficult. So let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem right now to solve this problem. Okay, so here is um, uh, our triangle. We're told that this side is 8, this side is 10. So our longest side, 10, is C, okay, in terms of what variable it represents. Okay, so C is equal to 10. This side we'll call A, and then this side would be B. A, uh, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, and B is equal to X. It's the same thing. We can use the variable B, but let's just let B equal to X. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I'm just going to kind of uh, keep it like this so we can easily see this formula in action. All right, so what's a squared? Well, it's going to be 8 squared. So we're going to start plugging in these values for this formula. So 8 squared, okay, and then we're going to add that to b squared. So what's b? Well, b is equal to x, so that's going to be x squared, and that's going to be equal to c squared, which, of course, is 10 squared. So now we just go ahead and do some nice basic algebra, nothing too difficult. So 8 squared is what? 64. 8 times 8 is 64, plus x squared is just x squared, and 10 squared is what? 100. All right, 10 times 10. So now I need to go ahead and solve this basic quadratic equation. Or well, what we want to do here is get the x squared on one side of the equation. So I can subtract 64 from both sides of the equation and I'm left with x squared is equal to 36. So if you don't understand this right here, this is just basic, um, a basic quadratic equation, and uh, you don't even have to know how to solve all quadratic equations in order to uh, use the Pythagorean theorem, just you know, basic quadratic equations. So we're down to x squared is equal to 36. I wanna solve for x, so how can I find x? Just take the square root of both sides of the equation. The square root of x squared is x, and that's what I want, right? And the square root of 36 is both positive and negative six. So IE, x is equal to six and negative six, but we are talking about distance here. So that negative six isn't gonna work for us. So we'll throw out that negative distance. So the answer is six, okay? And that's basically it. I mean, the Pythagorean theorem is just one of these formulas that you wanna put into your long-term memory, okay? A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. I mean, this is, um, uh, I can't overstate the importance of this formula in mathematics, not only in geometry and trigonometry and practical applications, it's used everywhere. So hopefully you recognize that this was an application of the Pythagorean theorem, but if you didn't, now you know, and that's the whole idea behind my videos. I'm trying to teach you math. Hopefully you get something out of it. And if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need more help with triangle problems, things like this, uh, geometry, basic geometry, and the like, well, let me uh, suggest two courses. One, I have a full, complete geometry course, which, of course, will teach you everything you need to know about geometry. But I also cover basic geometry, um, like area, surface area, Pythagorean theorem, uh, things like that in my pre-algebra course as well. So those would be two good courses. Now, if you're beyond that, if you're more advanced into trigonometry and everything else, then you might wanna check out my pre-calculus course. And uh, of course, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel as well. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.